Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Mix. I've been working on my one pound combat robot and I've made a lot of progress. Later, I'll do a whole recap video going over the entire design and my method of construction. As you know, the goal is to 3D print the entire thing. Well, you know, the parts that can actually be 3D printed. Um, so stay tuned for that. But for today, I want to do a quick video showing you the new tires that I designed and uh, specifically how I made the treads on the tires uh, to be able to give me a little better grip. The original tires were basically just some cylinders that I designed and 3D printed using a TPU, the flexible filament, and they worked okay, but I did notice I was getting some slipping going on, for example, on turns, and if I had the robot just stationary and just revved it all the way up, it would kind of slip in place before it gained some traction. To help with the traction, I designed some new tires and this time gave them some treads. I'll probably experiment with the design here with different patterns, but for now I just went with this sort of simple V shape here. I don't really need to go too crazy with this, it's not going to be off-roading or anything. The arenas tend to have a smooth surface, um, but I figured I'd experiment. If you have a good idea for a pattern for a certain type of tread or a, a design, uh, let me know in the comments. I sent the design to my classic MakerBot Replicator 2. It always does a great job with TPU. And I'm printing on a acrylic bed here, so no heated bed. And then I simply swapped out the old tires for the new ones. I modeled these so that they're a millimeter smaller than the wheels. So you actually have to stretch it over the wheels to get it to fit, which allow for a really nice tight fit. So I'm fairly confident these will stay on. So far, preliminary tests look to be pretty promising. I still have yet to master the whole driving part, but if my first opponent happens to be a roll of toilet paper tubing, I got this. Okay, let's see how I designed these tires in Fusion 360. Okay, in Fusion, we'll begin by creating a sketch on our ZX plane. And we'll start by creating a circle. So we'll go to create and down to our center diameter circle. Start with a circle on that origin. And you want this to be the diameter of your tire. In my case, I went with 60 millimeters. So I'll type that in and hit enter. Next, I'll go to my modify menu, grab my offset tool. And for this, I'm going to enter a value that I want the thickness of the tire to be. So I'm going to drag this in and I went with a uh, 1.2 millimeter. So I'm going to type negative 1.2, click OK. I'm all set with that sketch, so I'll click on finish sketch. And I'm going to grab that profile here and then go to create extrude. And let's grab this arrow and drag this out. And this will be um, how wide you want that tire to be. I'm going to go with 18 millimeters and hit enter. All right, now that I have my basic cylinder, I'm going to create my um, tread here. So to do that, I'm going to create a sketch, this time on a perpendicular plane to the one I was just working on. So I'll go with this ZX, or I'm sorry, ZY plane here. And I'm going to hit P on my keyboard for project and I'll get this dialog box for my selection filter. I'm going to go with bodies. I'm going to select the body here of my tire, click OK. And now when I untoggle the body's light bulb here, I'll be left with just an outline. Basically, um, what that did was it projected the outline of that tire into the current sketch I'm working on. So I'm going to grab my line tool by hitting L on my keyboard. And I'm going to just draw a line between these two points here. Hit escape, select that line, and hit X to make it a construction line. Uh, and I'll grab the line tool again, this time referencing the midpoint of the line I just made. And I'm going to go up, making sure I have that perpendicular constraint. I'm going to go 7 millimeters, hit enter. Also select that line and make it a construction line. I'll grab line a third time, and this time I'm just going to click to uh, connect these points, giving me that triangle. And I'm going to grab my offset tool again and select that little triangle there. And I'm going to go up five millimeters, click OK. And this will be the profile of the tread. So I'll click finish sketch because I'm all set here. Let's bring bodies back into view. And I'm going to go to create down to extrude, select that profile. I had it already already selected. And instead of start uh, from profile plane, I'm going to change that to from object. 
and I'm going to select my tire here and now when I drag this out you'll see that that profile comes out from the tire and it keeps that curved uh, look. I'm only going to go out negative two millimeters and click OK and now I'm going to grab my fillet tool by hitting F on my keyboard and I'm going to fill it let's say this edge here top and bottom and then these four front edges here. So I should have a total of six edges selected. I'm going to give it a fillet of one millimeter and click OK. All right, now that I have that one tread there, I can simply do a circular pattern by going to create down to pattern, circular pattern. Uh, my pattern type, I'm going to change it to whatever it is to features and that's going to allow me to choose the features for my timeline. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this extrude plus the fillet feature we did and then select axis here and I can simply select any one of these circles here as the edge of my tire and now I can simply increase the, the little arrow button here um, and I can either do that here or over here or you can just type in the quantity but what I usually do I'll just kind of keep increasing it until it looks right. Uh, in this case I think 15 looks pretty good so I'll click OK and you'll see that I now have all my treads there and that looks pretty good. Um, last thing I did was added an appearance just to make it look nice so I hit A for appearance and I used a rubber appearance since I'm printing with TPU and you can find rubber under other and if you go down to rubber there's a rubber bumpy and a rubber weathered. Let's grab the weathered look and I'm just going to drag that in. And if I double click here, I can change the color. So we'll do like a dark red like I did. Click done and close. And there is my beautiful tire. All right, as always, if you have any thoughts or questions, leave it on the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and remember to subscribe for more videos like this. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.